Hello, everyone, and thanks for tuning in to the Rise Up Radio segment, brought to you by Victory Outreach Church of Cape Town. We are delighted that you have decided to tune in. Today on the Rise Up Radio segment, we are going to be featuring real-life testimonies of the life-changing power of Jesus Christ. So, if you know someone who is involved in substance abuse and is looking for a way out, we want to encourage you to call them up and tell them to tune in to the Rise Up Radio segment, coming at you now. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Rise Up Radio segment, brought to you by Victory Outreach Church of Cape Town. We're so excited that you have decided to tune in. Do me a favor. Can you get on your phone? Call up a friend. Tell them to tune in because they just might get born again. You know what I'm saying? What's up, everybody? It's Pastor Dre. And you are tuned in to the Rise Up Radio segment. And today we have a powerful testimony of a young lady that has been changed by the power of God. Now, before I head on over to our Rise Up segment hotline, I do want to extend an invitation for you to come and join us this Sunday morning. For one of our Sunday morning celebration services We have two services One at 8 a.m. and one at 10 a.m. And we're located at 123 Four Trekker Road Right there on the corner of Four Trekker and McDonald And the Goodwood Mall If you want more information We're standing by to hear from you right now At 061-407-9474 That's 061-407-9474 or you could always stop by our website at www.vocapetown.net. All right, family, I'm going to head on over to our Rise Up segment hotline. I got Jade on the line. Jade, how you feeling today? And welcome to the show. Hi, Pastor Dre. I'm doing really good. Thank you for asking. Hey, man. Well, it's good to have you on the show. So let's get right into it. Maybe you could tell us a little bit of how was your life like before you gave your life to the Lord? Okay, so before I was saved, I used to compare myself and my like my faith to others. I'd see my sister all passionate about God and serving Him at church, and I just couldn't understand why. It, it felt like she and many others, they had this special connection with Him that I didn't have. So I used to pretend to feel the same way as if I had a special connection with Him. And I did good things like serving Him serving in the church um but deep down i didn't really feel him because instead of seeking him in his word or speaking to him i would look for him in the wrong friends and things um things got worse and more i started hanging out with friends who weren't exactly the best influence um and even though i was surrounded by friends and family i still felt alone and like something or someone was missing from my life It was like I had this void that needed to be filled. Like, when I was given this opportunity to speak on the Rise Up Radio segment, um, looking back, my life before finding Christ felt purposeless and broken. Like I was walking in life, not knowing my purpose or where I was going in life. I was desperately searching for something or someone, Mm. but I had no idea who or what it was. All right. Well, I know you ended up changing. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to head to a commercial break. And when we come back, I want you to share how you changed. All right, family, keep it locked. You're tuned in to the Rise Up Radio segment. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Pastor Dre. I'm just stopping by to let you know that if any of the shows or testimonies that you've heard on the Rise Up Radio segment have been a blessing to you, you can download them for free. Yep, that's right, free. All you have to do is go to www.riseupsegment.com. That's www.riseupsegment.com. And you can download them straight to your phone or you can email them to a friend. And you can be a soul winner today. God bless you. Keep it on the Rise Up Radio segment. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Rise Up Radio segment. All right, Jade, before we went to the commercial break, you were telling us how your life was before you got saved. But I want to know, and I'm sure the people want to know, how did you end up changing? Um, it started like, I think, two years ago with the people at Victory Outreach. And how they have shown me so much love and made me feel at home. Because of their personalities and how welcoming they were. 
I was like, I want to be like that. <laughs> <laughs> I watched how they walked with the Lord and how they had these moments with Him. And these were like young people, cl- like close to my age. And it was just super weird for me because of what I saw in people my age in the world. I wanted to have the joy and peace that they had. So I decided since I have so much joy and peace, they were just like different. Um, I wanted like, since I had so much joy worshiping God, they must know him. So I wanted to know him too. I wanted to feel like how they felt. Um, so I finally decided to think of reading the Bible. Reading the word was a bit challenging for me though, especially starting with Genesis. But my sister suggested suggested I begin in the New Testament. And I found it so interesting and fulfilling. One Sunday, I decided to have a conversation with him, which was something that I didn't do because I used to think that I was just talking to myself. I kind of had doubts about God. Um, and as I was like speaking to him, I was I could just feel his presence surrounding me. It filled me with so much peace and joy that I had never experienced before. Since that moment, I've been wanting to have to be more on fire for Jesus and have been working on deepening my relationship with him. It's something I never want to lose. So basically, how I ended up changing was following the footsteps of my sister and the leaders at church, reading the word and just deciding that I didn't want to feel left out in the world like I did in the world. Um, and with the people at Victory Outreach, I felt like I was a part of a family. Because at Victory Outreach, it's just a place you call home and a people you call family. Mm. And I feel like this was God's plan all along to get me to the place I belong. The main reason I ended up changing was because of God. Mm, come on. Good stuff. Okay, Jade, we heard how your life was before you got saved. We heard how you ended up changing. But can you let us know, how is God using your life today? So how God has been using my life. I am a part of the media team at my church, um, at Victory Outreach, um, and I just love media. I lo- like ever since I started going into media at church, it's, it's, I just like it so much. Um, so in media, we have the opportunity to express our creativity through photography, pro presenter. Candor. It's, it's a lot of things I don't know if you know um, but anyway and many more things um, so we sh- we capture special moments in the church with pe- capture like special moments with God in the church um, and we share them with the church community and the people outside of the church um, on Insta and I'm also a part of Third Wave Navy where we can show our talents share our talents such as singing dancing rapping and many more things like where we share our talents um for god to reach more people and i'm also part of the high school impactors hsi it's a tea i'm a part of um where we are a bunch of high schoolers who come together to worship and praise god we also do fun activities such as hiking having fellowship, evangelizing, mm. swimming. <laughs> okay. um, yeah, we do fun activities. And when we go evangelizing, we basically walk in different areas and talk and share about, we talk about Jesus. And it's just super encouraging to me to have a community of people around the same age as me mm. who share the same faith and passion for God that I do come on so we encourage and support each other as we grow spiritually as well um it's been such a blessing to be part of these groups oh and actually at gang I have also had the privilege to share a five minutes of fire Uh. where I basically preached for five minutes so yeah God has been using my life in the following things (laughs) 
Come on, good stuff. We got a preacher in the house. <laughs> All right, and speaking of gang, which is our God's Anointed Now generation, that's our service for, uh, what I say, students and young adults, and they meet every Friday at 7 o'clock p.m. 123 Fort Trucker Road, right there on the corner of Fort Trucker and McDonald and the Goodwood Mall, and that's a service you don't want to miss. Once again, they meet Fridays at 7 o'clock p.m. All the students and young adults, you need to check out that service. All right, Jade, before we let you go, make Maybe there's someone out there listening that finds themselves in the shoes you were in. What would be your word of encouragement? And then we'll wrap it up in a word of prayer. So if you are a high schooler or even younger and or older and you're dealing with what I dealt with, with unbelief, with comparison to other people's belief, with being lost and confused, I just want to encourage you to keep seeking the Lord because in his, in his word it says in Deuteronomy 4 verse 29 but from there you will seek the Lord your God and you will find him if you search after him with all your heart and with all your soul so I just want to encourage you to keep seeking him and you will find him and he's waiting for you he is waiting for you to find him he's waiting for you with loving arms and I just want to say when I say seek him don't look for him in friends like that are not really I mean that aren't the best influence I mean um, seek him in his word seek him in the bible talk to him try to talk to him try to just talk to him I don't know um, and you will find him and when you do you'll just feel I just you'll feel you'll feel different and you'll feel loved and you'll feel like you have a purpose because he has a pur- a plan and a purpose for your life mm. so I just want to encourage you to not give up mm. and don't lose hope and continue seeking him because you will find him Good stuff. All right, Jade, can you wrap it up in a word of prayer? Lord, I just firstly I want to thank, thank you, you for my salvation, Lord. Thank you. I thank you for your unfailing love and yes. grace towards me and my sisters and brothers. Thank you. I thank you for giving me the opportunity to speak on the Rise Up Radio segment. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, I thank you for the person listening today. Yes. I pray that whatever they may be going through, whether it may be unbelief or comparison when seeing other people's faith, Lord, I pray that they will seek you with all their heart and that they find you in the midst of the storm or whatever they may be going through. I pray that they know now that you have a plan and a purpose for their life. I pray that they know that they are loved by you. I pray that they feel encouraged to seek you in your word and that they speak to you, Lord. Thank you, Father. I thank you once again for all that you do. Thank you. I love and appreciate you so much. Amen. Amen. Wow. Jay, you did an amazing job. And thank you for coming on the show. And thank you, family, for tuning in. Remember, we come at you every Wednesday right here on the Rise Up Radio segment where we feature testimonies of the life-changing power of Jesus Christ. Also, before I let you go, I want to remind you to tune in to our television program, Treasures, every Friday at 8.30 p.m. on TBN Yetu, Channel 364. That's Friday nights, 8.30 p.m. on TBN Yetu, channel 364 all right family thank you for tuning in spread the word about the rise up radio segment we'll see you next week god bless you thank you for tuning in to the rise up radio segment brought to you by victory outreach church of cape town to learn more about our ministry or if you would like to make a contribution you can visit our website at www.vocapetown.net that's www.vocapetown.net If you or someone you know is involved in substance abuse and is looking for a way out, please contact our free recovery home at 021 
That's 021-691-9575. Or you can visit our website at www.vocapetown.net. Once again, thank you for tuning in, and we look forward to seeing you again next week on the Rise Up Radio segment.